A couple of the benefits of choosing a swivel rotate machine or a tilting head machine over that of a trunnion might be to the ability to run heavier parts. On a trunnion style machine, the part is always rotating and twisting within the work envelope, therefore usually giving us some limit to the weight capacity that that axis is going to be able to handle. With a swivel rotate machine, the table generally moves more like a standard three axis machine, able to heavy, handle heavier parts. Once the heavier part is placed on the table, the weight is then dis distributed directly down to the base and onto the floor, and there's no articulation of that part as you're doing the machining. Second of all, many times we have more versatility, especially in a machine like the Herco SR style of machine that's pictured. Um, you have not only the rotating table, C-axis in this case, to give you the five-axis capability, but we also have some table space that is vacant there to the left side of the rotary axis to allow for what we call the sixth side of the part, or to be able to put a vise or fixture there to do some standard three-axis work or maybe some limited uh, fourth axis using the tilting head. We also, many times with a swivel head machine, you're going to see much fewer tool interference issues. If you think of a trunnion style machine and you have the part tilt towards the operator, the spindle comes from behind the, the table at that point. If I'm going to reach out over the casting of a trunnion that is tilted at 90 degrees, I need to bring the z-axis the down with the tool on the spindle to contact a part that is mounted very close to the center of that table. Smaller parts accentuate this. Then you can see that at some point I'm going to have an interference issue between the bottom of the head casting and the trunnion itself, therefore causing me to use much longer tools or it's going to in some way impede me machining smaller parts on larger trunnion style machines. With a swivel head or swivel rotate type machine all the rotations happen above the workpiece. Therefore, I don't have to reach out over the part. I don't have those interference issues. I can simply put a standard length tooling, in many cases, just rotate the part or the tool in the position on the part and begin machining. 